Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing the new Ram 2500 Rebel, and this one happens to have the 6.4 Hemi, so we're gonna see if this truck makes any sense. Before we get into this video, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this Ram 2500 Rebel is a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 410 horsepower and then 429 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the venting there in the center and then also off to the side with our 2500 heavy duty badge. Is it functional? No. Does it look cool? I think so. Now you guys can see we've got the headlights here from the Power Wagon, so they're LED lights. And we also have the grill from the Power Wagon as well. And then you can see the front bumper, again, similar design. Look at the tow hooks and the parking sensors there. We also have fog lights with this truck. But notice that we have an air dam here at the bottom. But overall, this new 2500 Rebel package, I think, looks pretty sweet. Coming around the side here, tire wheel setup is 285, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the wheel design with the silver there on the outside and then notice how it's blacked out there in the center. Now with this Rebel package, you guys can see we've got the off-road shocks here in the front and also in the rear. Pretty chunky fender flare there. Notice there's no 6.4 Hemi badge. I guess that Ram doesn't want people to know that you don't have a diesel. <laughs> Anyways, got a Ram logo down below, the new style of trailer mirrors, and then notice the door handles are body painted, but this truck's actually two-tone. You can see it's black here at the bottom. And then we also have these fixed side steps that are wheel to wheel. By the way, here's that off-road shock in the back, and then we do have a multi-link setup in the rear because this is a 2500. And then here's your full side view with the Rebel. Definitely has a pretty nice stance front to rear, but I think it would look even better if you had like 18 inch wheels and then 35s. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, the tailgate drop down, and then you guys can see the Ram logo there on the back. Now when it comes to payload capacity, it's 2,879 pounds. You guys can see we've got bed liner from the factory. We also have an outlet here, and then we've got all of our plugins for the fifth wheel setup because this does have a fifth wheel prep. Um, then. You can see the LED bed lights as well. And then if you're wondering, it's a six foot four bed. Lifting this up is pretty dang easy. Notice got the Ram logo here, Rebel down below. And then you guys can see that the taillights, how they're darker there in the center portion. And then you got the little exhaust tip poking out the back. And then parking sensors and a receiver hitch. Now with towing capacity, you're gonna be kind of like lower mid teens, if that makes sense. Like think like 13, 14,000 pound range. But anyways, putting it all together, I think this truck looks really sweet on the outside. Now taking a look at the door panel here, look at the trim at the top and then you guys can see the padding down below with all of the stitching. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see this is the Laramie interior version of the Rebel. So that's why you've got these leather seats. And then you can see underneath with our under seat storage. And then we do have the ice buckets here as well. Now taking a look at the legroom here, it's pretty good. Again, this is the crew cab. You can see a little storage pocket here. And then notice we actually have heated seats here in the back. We've got our own outlet. We've got some USBs and some vents here as well. And then headroom back here is actually really good. And of course, I almost forgot, we have a cup holder armrest. Now taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see again with the darker trim here at the top and the gray trim down below. And look at all the stitching that goes across. Window controls, windows are automatic if you guys are wondering. We do have power folding mirrors and then memory seats. And then these are all of the mirror functions. So these are for the lights. This is to adjust the mirrors outwards. And then this is to adjust the convex mirror. So you no longer have the flip up function. They push outwards now. Anyways, you also have blind spot monitoring. And then taking a look at the front seat here, you guys can see perforated down the center. Notice the Rebel there on the side. And then that continues all along the bottom portion. And then we've got our adjustments here on the side as well, their power. This is for the outlet there in the bed. Light controls, fog light, cargo light. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. And then this does have pedal adjustment. So taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see really nice leather trim all around. You notice how it's like perforated there on the side. Radio controls in the back. This does come with regular cruise control as well as adaptive. You got your gear limiter function, controls for the center stack, phone controls as well. 
And then taking a look at the gauge cluster here, we've got the full digital gauge cluster with this Rebel package. My favorite thing is you can change from analog to digital, so it makes the gauge cluster look a little bit different. Um, gives you basic bits of info on the truck itself, including the uh, map view right there, which is pretty cool. And then also your off-road stuff as well, well, with the drive line, right? Now this truck has a full 360 camera system, so we can see out of every single angle, and I like how we have the tire marks right there so it shows us exactly where we're going with the front but great camera system now as for the rest of the infotainment screen it's got analog controls for the climate system on either side your radio controls on top of that and then you can see like the lane departure there the very top and then at the bottom we get our parking sensors your tow mode stability control that is for your alternate trailer height because this does have the rear air suspension and then trailer brake controls and then notice here with the response time it does take a second for some of the menus to uh, load up but it's relatively responsive heated and cooled seats by the way as well as a heated steering wheel now we've got the dial shifter here you guys can see the drive line select um notice we don't have four wheel auto but we do have four wheel high and four wheel low hill descent control we also have our axle lock for the rear and then you can see the usb ports down below and then storage space and then full outlet right next to that and then here's the center console so first off good storage space here at the top and we got a little usb there and then this is a bench seat so you can basically fold it up so that's another seat and there is more storage space underneath the seat on top of that so it's cool how many functions are built into one and then notice this is rebel here in the glove box but good storage space and then nice padding all over the dash and then here at the very top we have a button for the power sliding rear window and then we do have just a regular sunroof here at the top as well now here's a window sticker for this 2500 Rebel. Um, you guys can see the base MSRP 68,425. Um, this does have quite a few options added to it. Total MSRP on this one with a 6.4 Hemi, 85,975. And also this one has a 410 axle ratio as well. But anyways, do, 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 do. let's see how it drives. Okay, well, we are setting off in the gas-powered Rebel. Now, I do need to mention, I'm gonna be using this uh, driving clip for the gas Rebel video, and then also for the diesel versus 6.4 Hemi video. Now, I do need to go to the fuel economy tab. So we're gonna, okay, so we're resetting the trip computer. So we can see what the fuel economy is after our test route. It's not gonna be like the most amazing fuel economy test on the planet, but, you know, it'll be better than nothing. So anyways, initially setting off, love the responsiveness of the 6.4 Hemi. It's definitely got some oomph to it, that's for sure. Oh, all the snow is falling off the roof. It uh, keeps snowing here in Utah, which is super strange, but it is what it is. Um, it's pretty smooth. This one has the uh, rear air suspension. And something that's super interesting uh, with these two trucks is there's only like a $6,000 price difference between them. One has the gas and one has the diesel. And it's because this one's like optioned out super weird with like all these random options, whereas that one is basically just like a limited Rebel. Um, so with a diesel, obviously. But yeah, ride quality is it's pretty, pretty good for a heavy duty truck. It's got this nice like kind of like light feel for such a large pickup truck and i will say i'm like i'm not really having to get into it to keep the truck going and this this rebel package has larger tires it's got like 33s squishy brakes that's just an hd truck thing it's always interesting to see oh i guess that they're do redoing the road here that is ugly really good torque out of the powertrain smooth too and we'll get an acceleration here at the last uh, turn before i do another like little loop around but i will say i i'm i'm impressed i'm impressed with this engine i think it's got good torque i think it's got good power i think it sounds great and you know for a gas engine and a heavy duty it does a good job in here we'll get our acceleration here oh yeah, this thing can move. This thing can move, that's for sure.